Hello everyone, my name is Stanisław Freilak, I'm professional one dan player. This is the fifth round of the Not The London Open Tournament. Xiao Yu Cheng plays white, Xiao Zi Yu plays black. Uh, this game started with a 3-3 invasion Joseki and then white continued immediately. This is a common continuation, this inside cut. Then black can choose to take not this stone but the other stone and white gets a strength towards the left side but black gets a strong position on the bottom and then black added a move to build a framework on the bottom side white continued with a corner enclosure which is completely logical because it creates a big moyo from that thickness black stops white from expanding the moyo also to the top side so black plays this corner enclosure now white invades that other corner and we see another Joseki and maybe this is the first moment when we can start thinking a bit where is the biggest move because up to now it w these were just corner enclosures, just two Josekis, for sure no mistake was made. And I thought that black might consider uh, making the wall even bigger but then white could get the first stone on the top side and still get a big moyo in that quarter of the board so instead black plays there and then white can continue on the bottom. Very often after these moves of white are played we can see such a knight's move from black. This move not only looks towards expanding Moyo on the bottom but also it has a continuation of this attachment at one which can help black create something on the right side. For now white was a bit concerned about black's area on the bottom so white invaded and black played these two exchanges just to make sure to have a few stones on the right side. Then how should black continue? Maybe you can think of pincering white stone, but when black plays this move, black is not taking points because there is this hole on the bottom. White can still jump at A. So if it doesn't take points, maybe better to play from the top. It's also possible to kick and jump, but it gives a lot of freedom to white. Black attached from the top, and then white build a shape on the bottom, but black will not let white go out. Black is enclosing white. And white might have this intuition to try to go out, but it's a bit pointless if black is strong enough and tall enough, <laughs> the wall is tall enough, to cover white anyway. So then these exchanges wouldn't help white, and instead of playing them, white played this extension. I think that this is a very flexible move. If black plays elsewhere, then white can continue playing like this and splitting black, so now this plan of breaking through is already feasible. And if black adds a move from the top, then, well, maybe white is already alive, maybe white doesn't need to continue on the bottom. But uh, black found a stronger move, I think a very beautiful one, black attached here. If white just blocks, black certainly manages to block white in center. And if white connects, black still plays this move. The pressure which black managed to put on white is very big and likely white should add one more move. So it's better than playing here or than just playing this turn and letting white comfortably extend. And white didn't want to play submissive, push through. But then black is happy to cut off the stone on the bottom, destroy white's base. Potentially black will have quite a few points around A and white needs to run. White decided to run with this Hane. If black jumps, white can probably play a knight's move. But then Black looked at this position and thought, well, isn't this Hane a bit too much? Wouldn't a normal move be rather a jump? After which it would be easier for Black to chase the group of white. Maybe after this Hane it's possible to cut. So Black fought here for quite some time and then decided to choose this cut. At first it might look risky but promising if you read a few variations. So what can white do? If white plays this one we will just go out and white needs to go back so white will rather start from a turn. Then if black just answers then it's not really coherent so maybe black is going to extend. White can play here and Hane and we need to read this variation to know if we don't collapse. So for example if we are forced to connect our stones like this then it, it would be a bit uncomfortable for black. But then black realizes that it's possible to cut. Theoretically white can consider extending to get more liberties. Now black has only three liberties. Uh, so what can black do? Well black has this combination. Atari, 
Atari, Atari, play here, and white is all dead. So this simple variation doesn't work for white. Here black would be very happy, but still, playing such a cut is certainly very risky. There is a weakness here, and even if it cannot be used directly by playing such a hane, there might be other ways of using it. Moreover, there is a weak point around here, a cutting point. Then there is also this push through at B, which can also destroy black's shape. So there are so many weaknesses, and it's difficult to be so confident in your reading that you know that nothing bad will happen. And when I was looking at the stream of the game uh, at this point, I was also considering this cut, but I thought that probably the proper move is to jump. The cut just looks very risky. Let's see how white managed this situation. Of course, if white makes a mistake, it, white might collapse, and white might even die with this group. Black didn't go up now, as I suggested. Black played this Atari first, probably planning to go up with the next move, but for now white didn't extend, white played this one, and then we already know that white cannot handle. it. But white found a different move. This tiger's mouth, it threatens a cut, so maybe black should connect. But if black connects, white can play this, go down doesn't work, but white can connect, throw in, Atari, and white is locally alive. If black destroys this eye, white makes two eyes here. And probably white will first go out with this stone to still destroy black shape a bit on the outside. Maybe even white will be brave enough to continue with an extension if white thinks that there is enough weakness in black shape, but uh, at least one extension for sure. And then white can simply live. Simply live, then black's attack didn't succeed very greatly. Black managed to close white in center, but still black shape on the outside is a bit thin. And this being said, white might still have sharper moves, maybe this extension. So black didn't want to give white that possibility of that painful squeeze. There might be something even more painful, which white actually has this move, of course. Uh, if black plays here, black is just captured. And if black plays here, Black is also captured, so it's not even about living in Gothic, it's about capturing black stones. So black certainly needs to answer. Mm. And this means that white will be able to cut black. But before white did it, white played a move here, a move here, and then cut. This cut is center. If now black decides to play elsewhere, white can push through. And locally black is dead, and black has less liberties than white. So black needs to add a move, and you might think, oh, but cannot black live in center? Atari, 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 and black lives in center. That would be great for black, but the problem is white will realize that black is already alive after this move, and white will not connect. This is just not a needed move. So instead, white starts destroying black's shape on the outside with this extension. Black pushes, and the situation is not very easy to handle for white, because the first um, intuition should be to somehow go out with these stones to use this Aji. Maybe we can play this move, maybe we can play this move, maybe we can push, but then we are only killing our group on the bottom. So this doesn't make sense for white. On the other hand, if we play from this side, then our two stones might die. White plays from the group on the bottom, because these are the important stones, of course. But also, white plays not close to these two stones of black, but to those two stones. Still put pressure on them, and then this double hane, uh, black might be tempted to cut, but then white can simply sacrifice one stone, so this would be good for white. What else can black do? If black plays from these stones, maybe white can hane? Uh, it might be a bit complicated. But black was afraid, and black extended. Very solid move, and white connected the shape. But this also means that white managed to go out. It's impossible now for black to cover white. Black's shape on the outside is too thin. So you see, white cut black, and even though black lives on the inside, it matters because these two stones are now thinner. They can be attacked by white. White can lean on them while running with the group, and black cannot play so freely. So instead black jumped and white attached, putting pressure on these stones. And now black gets an opportunity to build the framework on the top right, but black didn't like the fact that then these three stones might simply die. So instead of continuing there, 
black went back to connect the stones by capturing white. But then there is a weak point in black's shape left, and white played there immediately, no need to consider other options. This is the only sharp move. If white plays anything else, then black's position becomes very comfortable. But if white cuts, then black has a problem. Black stones are not a thickness anymore, uh, not an influence, but these are groups to, to take care about. So first black played Atari, pushed once more, ah, now <laughs> theoretically white can capture three stones of black, but black doesn't care if black can get such a nice framework on the top. So white extends, then black connected. It seems that, that white also needs to connect, because if white doesn't, then black can cut through. But instead of doing it, white played from the other side. Black played this exchange, just a good exchange. Make sure that white will not play there at any point, as this is a center move against black's life, and it also gives white an eye. So yeah, it's good to make this exchange before it's too late. It might stop being sent at one point. So black made an exchange, and now black needs to manage the group on the other side, or cut through. But the group on the right side is too thin. It will die faster than white on the bottom. Black tries to save the group to get a big area for it, but white plays a very strong crosscut, claiming that black has not many liberties and the group might die earlier than the two stones of white, basically. Maybe it was better for black to just jump and play here. There is still a weakness, but maybe it can be managed, certainly if, if black can make life like this. Hmm. So maybe a jump would be Colner. Uh, black played Hanel. White goes down. And now if, if black plays from these stones, then white simply captures that stone. Even if black can make life, uh, white will have time to connect the stones and white will get a good result out of all this fight because this was all supposed to be black's framework and now white has strength there. So black played from the other side, trying to capture the three stones of white, but then white played one turn, the other turn, black jumped, and then a cut. So this is how white is squeezing black and taking his liberties. Actually, black had another choice. Black could have considered a Hane, even though it looks like black is too thin, but it's also not easy for white to find uh, good moves. If white extends, then white will die. If white goes up and then maybe Hane, black can play here. If white saves these stones, then white loses those. If white saves the stones on the right side, then white loses these four stones, which means that black lives. This would be all good for black, so maybe black can play this Hane. White has also other options, but then isn't it good for black? It is like playing this move, but then white continuing in this way, which seems only taking white's liberties. So this jump might have been a bit too passive. At this point, I thought that white is going to play a clump here. Like this, white could manage to connect the stones and white is all alive. And if black goes down, white can play here, 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 Atari once, throw in, Atari twice, and then here, and white wins by one liberty. So I thought that this is a long but straight sequence with no side uh, paths. So why didn't white choose it? So maybe white was afraid that black can now change the direction and try to capture those stones. But it doesn't seem possible to me. Black doesn't have many liberties, but there might be a co-fight. A co-fight might happen. But this variation, if it works as I think it does, it would be good for white. But instead white played this cut and chose another squeeze. So now Atari here, Atari here, connect. And if black wants to connect all the stones, then white captures everything. Luckily for black, black has a way out of this situation. Black can sacrifice six stones and capture the stones of white. So this is how it went. But what to say of the final result? White got so strong in the center, and here captured six stones, black captured five, and so maybe we can count 12 points for white here, and then 12 points for black around there. But this started all as black's influence, right? And now it is split between the players, 
I remember that Black had a Moyo here. It looked all very promising for Black, but then after this cut was played, a fight started, White cut, and then still Black might hope that by attacking White's group he can create a framework in the top right. But in the game it doesn't go this way. In the game Black only gets around 15 points and White also gets almost as many. Even worse, this is center for White. Now it's White's turn and White played very calmly. So I think it's possible to invade in Black's area, but instead White decided to first play good center exchanges and then just consolidate his own territory. Make sure that it's a big territory and Black probably cannot win this game because White has 30 points here if nothing bad happens, but probably White will have time to call me. That's already 70 points for White, for sure. And you can see that White also has a potential in the center. All right, 70 points, and Black has how many? 50, and White has 70. So Black needs to get 20 points on the top and not give White any points around this potential, around that potential. Maybe 20 points on the top is uh, doable, but not giving White anything in the process is already rather impossible. But still, Black started this way, and now Black sees that if he continues with normal moves, then he cannot win the game. So he tries something special, invade the corner, and try to destroy White's area more. Maybe the continuation was supposed to be a descent, I am not sure. But White didn't play Honey, White played the bump, and then Black creates a group. So actually Black was successful with creating the group, but White somehow also wasn't worried about, uh, about how the things go. Yeah, the territory is gone, and how many points is gone? Maybe 15, 20 points are gone. But White also got a few points in the process. White got strong around here. Black got thin around there. And later, well, White will take center and probably invade at L17. So White is still good, even though Black creates a group. By the way, if I was Black, I would probably play this Atari now. It's a good exchange if the game goes as it went, actually. And if White plays from the top, I would take. Later, Black can also create an eye in this corner, so maybe White plays from here, but then Black can jump out. I thought this might be a good exchange. Maybe Black can get it. But Black just pushed through, being happy that he managed to cut through White's shape. But White just played very calmly, now put pressure on the group of Black, and then continued on the top. And he didn't even play an invasion, he played something more simple, just took points, gave points to Black, but I'm sure that it was motivated by counting the score, and White just knew that this is enough for winning the game. But then another thing happened, White continued around here, and it's not easy for Black to answer. Maybe Black can play here, but won't the group die? Maybe Black should play this move. But as far as I count, White can hope on a call. In the game, Black chose a solid connection. White just played here once. And now Black has a chance to live. So now if Black wanted to live, Black could play like this, like that, and the group is completely alive without a call. But Black blocked and then White played this move and Black is dead now. Maybe Black was just looking for a place to resign the game because he knew that that he's not doing well. At this moment, Black resigned. This cannot be a Seki, because these two points are Miyai. So that's it about this game, and see you at the review of the next round. Bye-bye.